and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video again today. We're going over the Madden market, going to be covering it now. We have about three more days, give or take, until Super Bowl promo from when we at least expect it to come out. So, a little bit dry. So, I'm used today. I'm going to go over the last little things you should be doing, last little, last little things to be picking up, last little things to be making coins on. Obviously, my coins have been skyrocketing. You guys have been asking about it. I told you guys. When I, it was funny because everyone was like, you're so broke. You have no coins. You don't. You can't be talking about anything without coins. I have coins. They're just in my binder. As you guys can see, I probably still have a bunch of stuff in here as we get on down. I forget what. Look, okay, I have like 89, 89, 89, 85, 87. Well, I was not 85. You guys get the point, right? My binder is full of cards. Full. Absolutely destroyed with a bunch of cards. Now, I was from just this whole year. I've been. I don't sell a lot of things. And that's primarily because I always need the training. So sometimes it kind of sucks for me to go sell everything and then have to go buy it back for training with the reduction cost. Sometimes I just hold on to it. But now my training's kind of high, so I feel like I can start selling things. But besides the point, guys, I do have coins. As you guys can see, my auction has sold, expired. Well, these are those ones I gotta put back up. But this is how my coins went up for all you guys asking. Anyways, guys, if you're new to the channel, make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell, boys, come join the family. We are about 2,000 subscribers. We're 200 away from 18K, guys. So let's make that happen. Could that happen today? I don't know. If you guys are new to this channel, make sure to smash the subscribe button. Come join the family. 20K is our goal. Next big milestone. Let's get to, let's get 200 in the next day or so, so we can get to 18K. That'd be awesome. And guys, make sure to always comment down below. Helps out the channel grow. And always like to smash the like button. You guys have been going crazy with the like button. Even for the ratio of views, the like button's been going wild. So guys, if you're here, Noti Gang, smash the like button. Greatly appreciate it. Now let's get into this video. So heading on over. So you guys were asking about the whole Vic thing. If you guys sell Vic right now, what can you do? For this week without Vic. Now, me personally, I have to remember that a lot of you guys probably play Madden a little bit more in terms of gameplay wise. See, I'm more focused on the content side of Madden where I do play, but I don't play all day. I, I, I record all day, I do all that stuff all day. So then, if I have to, I can take a day off or two without a quarterback. I forget that you guys are watching me because you do. I, I have to you know, understand that concept sometimes. So, in terms of Vic, if you sold them right now, I mean, you could replace it with Russell, but that kind of defeats the purpose. So if you really are set on playing for the next week or so, you can hold Vic and just sell before um, the NFL Honors. But NFL Honors, I'm 100% I'm sure we're probably getting a new Lamar Jackson. I'm, I'm, I'm almost 100% sure. I'll give you like 99.8% sure that we're getting a new Lamar. So that is going to impact who the best quarterback is in the game because it's obviously going to be that Lamar Jackson, which is why I'm going to sell Vic pretty soon. But we'll, get a, we'll go into all that as we get to that point in the video when we get towards the price of the VIX. As far as the 88 indicator, it's kind of about average. It went up a little bit, so maybe the market's trending up slightest bit. Now, the market only went up a little bit because team of the year, for the most part, they were good cards. They, they were some good cards, but like, see, me with a 93 overall team, I look at team of the year, and there's like three or four cards I genuinely think I, I need. Aaron Donald being one of them. Sadly, Zane Gonzalez, the kicker, being the second one. Like, the wide receivers, I didn't really see as useful. McCall Harbin, maybe, because of his speed. Kittle, but as a whole, it was a good promo. It was fun. But the, there's only a few that I think I need. So I feel like a lot of people see that and they realize that, again, some of these cards don't have to be, you know, you don't have to, you don't have to sell everything for these cards because there's still some decent cards to be had. As well as the exchange sets that people use to get these Team of the Year cards use a lot of these lower overall cards. So the 88 indicator is probably going to be broken from now on, guys. I don't think that's going to be working right now in terms of that. Now, 90 overalls, again, the market is elevated because of these exchange sets, so that's why I'm cleaning out my binder as well. I feel like this is a great time to go binder cleaning. It just makes sense with the timing of how the market is trending up. But once Super Bowl drops, if it doesn't need cards, it's overall and stuff, and Team of the Year starts getting phased out. This is what happened last year, too. A similar thing, so I have to remember this for next year, too. The exchange sets of the Team of the Year usually skyrocket the market a little bit. Well, skyrocket the lower pieces. The higher pieces stay around average. But... And then the Super Bowl comes out, and if they don't, what they require, if it's currency, if we get rings, these cards go back to being pretty much a lot less valuable, and then you're gonna see a drop off. So we gotta be ready for that. That's why I'm selling my binder now. I'm selling, well, not my binder, like not my whole team, but I'm cleaning out my binder. I'm starting to get rid of all the other stuff. Now coming over here, I'm kind of interested to see the series Redux price. We haven't looked at these in quite a while, and honestly, they're not as cheap as I thought they'd be. I thought they'd be a little bit cheaper. In all honesty, this isn't really that bad. Guys, one decent, like decent investment 
if you guys want to make it i mean you gotta find it for the right price right you don't want to be just overpaying for it but if you can find julius peppers for like 140 150 all of them are 10 cards i pretty much gotten an upgrade besides i know joe thomas hasn't julius peppers i may be missing one but they've pretty pretty intent on upgrading all of the month 10 cards so just know if you've been waiting for julius peppers he has to be coming soon and palomalu palomalu and peppers now palomalu could be a super bowl card that makes sense i don't believe peppers won a super bowl i could be wrong but i don't believe he did so i don't think that'd be his time for a card there's a little notion there lamar jackson crazy expensive guys you have to be expecting that at this point people are ready for his brand new card now you can easily bypass all these prices if you just use your uh, your power pass for both lamar jackson you can easily get past that but despite that you have to also remember that you do have other cards that those are on so just be wary of like not destroying a whole power up chain for this but as new lamar jackson is going to break the game just be ready for it new lamar is going to have ma powered up chemmed up maxed up everything's probably gonna have like a 98 speed 97 speed with like sprinter and everything on him the team chems everything his throw powers in probably like a 95 his short accuracy is gonna be like a 95 his medium accuracy is probably like a 93 deep accuracy is probably gonna be like around a 95 94 with everything on him throw on the run probably gonna get close to like 97 98 throw under pressure gonna be like a 96 97 and flash probably like a 95 not to mention his juke and spin it's gonna be pretty ridiculous his acceleration is probably gonna be like a 97 98 his juke and spin move probably gonna be closer to probably 99 juke probably about a 91 spin and his break sack is probably gonna be a 99 i believe if i remember correctly what that originally was yeah break sack is oh, okay it's already 99 pretty much so it's gonna be 99 break tackles gonna be above a 90 guys this car is going to break the game as what everyone's prepping for because he's gonna get an mvp card it's pretty much a shooting at this point i don't think anyone can take that from him and i think even ea knows it that's why they like russell wilson was in the in the in the running at one point and he was like the closest one there was one other which i am blanking on right now oh mccaffrey was up there i think mccaffrey might get offensive player of the year guys so also remember mccaffrey's probably gonna get a pretty good running back card coming up pretty soon but they've really been undervaluing him like i don't know what they're gonna give him like a 95 94 speed like that's bo jackson will still be better it's kind of concerning how they've been doing that he might get a 90 catching on his next card which will be the first time in a long time madden i've seen a cow running back at this point in the game with 90 catching if at all to be quite honest with you guys but as we move on down as you guys see these haven't really these haven't moved too much they kind of stay in their lane i mean they come up a little bit then they come down a little bit they're not part of the exchanges for the most part so people don't really focus on them now obviously in the exchange i believe there is a 93 that can be that can be had but this is a 94 so i think it's kind of like the cap things go up and down as the day goes it's a little bit early in the morning so things will obviously be slightly more down than usual i'm sorry slightly more up than usual but as the day goes on things kind of even out now my homes is also going up in price now the reason for that guys is primarily because there is a chance that Mahomes gets a crazy playoff card. Now, A, he gets a Super Bowl present card. B, he gets a Super Bowl LTD card. C, he gets the Super Bowl MVP card. Like, th there's three ways he gets a card here. Pretty likely. Now, this new Mahomes will probably have, I'd say, 87 speed. Okay, if he's the MVP, though. If he's the MVP, like, 87 speed probably around 95 with all the chems and boosted and chemmed up probably like a 98 97 throw deep probably like a 94 throw mid 95 97 still short 99 throw power more than likely and he has dash and dead eye and he has everything on him gonna be really glitchy but the thing is if lamar jackson can get to 99 overall i'm pretty sure he gets human joystick and at that point all hell breaks loose with lamar jackson so it really depends on what you prefer to go with quarterback both are gonna be super glitchy and the only next glitchy card probably for the rest of the year will be probably a steve young could be up there glitchy the next two left-handers, Steve Young and Michael Vick. I think the next rest of the year is going to be Steve Young, Michael Vick, Lamar Jackson, and Pat Mahomes. But for the, this point in the game, Lamar Jackson will be pretty glitchy. So you definitely want to be getting your coins ready for him. That's what these coins are for. People are saying, like, you know, your team's ass. It's a 93. Why don't you, first off, first off, I don't buy that. I don't really buy packs. I bought that one bundle. That was my first bundle since September that I bought, like, a few weeks ago. And that was just for the MVP club. Second... I'm saving my coins. I want that Lamar Jackson. Once I have Lamar Jackson, I can worry about everything else. Not to mention, when Lamar Jackson comes out and all that stuff comes out, all the team of the years are going to come down in price a little bit, and then I'll go pick them all up because I'm smart. I'm going to wait. Slightest bit. I definitely want... I pick up end game cards. Okay, that's how I play this game. Now, is it the best way to play this game or with the most fun way? Probably not. But the thing is, I don't have the coin luxury that other people have sometimes to be able to always have the best cards. So in my opinion, I, I play the strategy, which is a really good mark strategy. Always pick up end game cards. Aaron Donald end game card i buy him i put him on my team done right in done for the rest of the year it's a smart way to look at it 
Now next year guys, things will be different. Madden 21, if the channel, if we're like at 30K subs and things are really just picking up the way I hope they should pick up, I promise you guys, I'm gonna open packs on a weekly basis. I'm gonna be having one of the best teams in Madden. I'm gonna be competing. I'm telling you guys, it's gonna be a much better time. But remember, the way we get to that point is that the channel's got the channel's gotta grow. It's as simple as that. So guys, you guys gotta do your part. If we, if we, if we can grow this community, things are going to change. But coming down to team of the year, guys, these prices, aren't going to change too much nothing's really dictating their prices right now there's really nothing to dictate them the the most that will happen is that super bowl drops and it's ass the promo team of the years might come up a little bit super bowl promo drops and it's, super bowl promo drops and it's good team of the year will go down a little bit it's, it's not going to be a massive amount i don't think that these cards won't crash because remember these cards are getting dangerously close to end game so at that point it's very hard for things to crash now you know i probably shouldn't have told people to sell their vic before i sold my vic because vic has went down in price a little bit so I'm gonna try to sell them for my price point pick. I'm trying to sell them for like 410. I can sell them for like 410 at this point because I should have sold them before I said anything. I'm gonna sell them for like 410. Probably get back around like 3, 370 ish, depending on the a little under actually reduction. 370 ish, and then I'll be okay with that. I'll use that as part of my down payment for Michael Vitt, uh, for the new Lamar Jackson, which the new Lamar Jackson probably valued at around 550, 600k. See, in years past, it would have been almost a million coins, but this Madden has been very weird with pricing. Things have been a lot cheaper. Things are not as exclusive as they used to be. So, I envision this Lamar Jackson. Unless they make him LTD, which would be really stupid. Wait. Are they LTD? No, NFL Honors. I really hope NFL Honors aren't LTD. I, I see them doing it. I don't remember if they used to do that, but I really hope they don't. Oh my God, I think they do. NFL Honors are LTD cards, aren't they? Oh, great. Okay. Nope, Lamar's gonna be probably closer to 8-900k. Okay, yeah, it's gonna take a lot of coins to get him. This should be fun, guys. But it is better for the video. Recommendation right now. Bind your sellings at an all-time high, because pieces are super are super high. And remember, once Super Bowl promo comes out and people start forgetting about team of the year, just the slightest bit, the binder should come down. So I'd recommend you binder clean now. You can sell that stuff now. Some of the higher piece cards, they're staying a little stagnant, won't be affected. Now the, the team of the year, I don't think you have to sell them. I mean, they're some of these are endgame cards. Some of them are, not all. A few of them are like Donald. Wilson could potentially be one. I don't see him being the end game card. I think there's going to be four more quarterbacks who want better than him. But it's entirely up to you guys on that front. I'm personally selling right now. Not my team. I'm selling my binder. I'm selling extra pieces. And I'm selling things in preparation for these new drops. Because we do have a pretty big content week. In the next week and a half, we have Super Bowl. We got the end of the playoffs. And we got the NFL honors. We got some, we got some crazy things. And then we got the combine pretty, uh, not, not entirely after that, but like a month after that. So, guys, enjoy, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn that on you, boys. Come join the family. Let's get to 18K as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we can hit it by tomorrow. So, if you're new to the channel, come join. Comment down below. Say what's up, as usual. And make sure to smash the like button. Can we get 250 likes in this video? I'd be greatly appreciated. Boys, thank you so much. I'm out. Peace.